In this video, we're going to take a look at an overview of the new FPS sample project created by Unity. The FPS sample project is a vertical slice of a multiplayer hero-based shooter game. The project is available on GitHub to download for free, and the link to that is in the description below. This project was created by our sample game dev team that currently consists of six people. There are two programmers, two artists, and two animators on the team, and they have been working on this project for two years using the latest versions of Unity. We created this project as an example of what a small, experienced team could achieve using the publicly available Unity engine. Right now, you can download the entire project with all of the assets and source code to experiment with and learn from. It is also possible to download a build of the game itself to play in both online network multiplayer mode or offline. Currently, there are two heroes in the project. The terraformer, who uses a machine gun and a rocket launcher, and the robot, who uses a minigun that must charge up to fire, and a grenade launcher. Both heroes provide examples of different classes. For instance, the terraformer's weapon can shoot faster and deals less damage, whereas the robot shoots more slowly and has to charge up his weapon to attack, but deals more damage to the enemy. The terraformer's rocket launcher explodes right away upon hitting an object, and the robot's grenades bounce off of other objects before exploding after a certain amount of time has elapsed. Both of these explosives deal area of effect damage and have a knockback effect. The project is shipped as a first-person shooter, but it can also be extended to support third-person gameplay too. The project is also a working example of networked multiplayer with a standalone server that is authoritative and guarantees fairness. This is a core principle for any competitive type of multiplayer shooter. There are currently two different levels we can play in. One is the main level, which is set in a robot factory on the side of a rocky cliff, and the other is a white box level, which is simpler for running quick tests of the project. The main level has both outdoor and indoor areas, which demonstrate how both interior and exterior lighting can be set up. They also provide an example of how environments like these can be built. The project uses the High Definition Render Pipeline, or HDRP, which aims to provide developers with tools to achieve high definition visuals. For instance, the plants in the main level use subsurface scattering, which allows us to simulate how light penetrates a translucent surface like a leaf. The project also uses decals, which are now available with HDRP. Decals allow the addition of detail by projecting materials onto existing surfaces, and we can see examples of decals being used as rust on the walls next to this gate right here. FPS Sample also uses some of the new lighting features of HDRP. It uses rectangular lights, which are a type of area light unique to HDRP. An area light allows you to define rectilinear geometry which emits light, and these are particularly well suited to creating man-made light sources like light fixtures and panels. We can see examples of the rectangular area lights in the factory around the furnace. The project also uses the new line light feature which allows emission from a line shape. We can see examples of line lights here on the ceiling. The light mapping in FPS sample is achieved through Unity's Progressive Light Mapper. Progressive Light Mapper is a fast path tracing based light mapper system that provides baked light maps and light probes with progressive updates in the editor. Furthermore, the team is keen to point out that this is not a finished project. It's referred to as a snapshot of where they currently are and they have many ideas for new additions to be made to the project. As new features become available in Unity, the team intend to take them for a test ride in this project and release updates to it over time to the public. The goal of FPS Sample is to show what a small, experienced team can create using the latest Unity tools. There is a great deal of content, systems, and code included in the project for you to explore and learn from. It's worth noting that while beginners will be interested to play with the project and explore it, this is a working example but not a tutorial project. The goal is to give experienced developers a view into how certain technical goals were achieved within Unity and to make visible how everything works together. One of the developers on the project actually referred to it as a documentation without words. To learn more and download the project, please see the link in the description below. We hope this video was helpful to give you an idea of what the FPS sample project is for and we look forward to see you in our next video.